This silkworm spermatocyte is dividing into two. Although cell division is one of the most basic events in life, there are still two rival theories for how it occurs. But last week, researchers at Oregon State University reported that cells simultaneously use both mechanisms, while either is capable of doing the job alone. When a cell splits in two, a wall forms in the middle. It's made of densely packed fat molecules that are attached to a mesh of protein cables called the cytoskeleton. This gives cells their shape and make sure that each new cell gets precisely one copy of each chromosome. The mesh is made of two kinds of proteins. Microtubules, shown in fluorescent green, lasso the chromosomes and put them in the right place. While actins, shown in red, seal a dividing cell shut, though they take their marching orders from microtubules. The first theory, called polar relaxation, claims that microtubules slacken actin fibers at the cell's poles. This leads to pinching at the center. According to the other theory, called equatorial stimulation, Microtubules order the construction of new actin fibers at the equator, which then nip cells in two. For the last half century, scientists have accumulated evidence for and against both theories of cell division, but the new research seems to show that the two camps would have been better off collaborating.